So it's me, Steven Silvestri. We are on November 14th, 2022, between 9.30 and 10 o'clock p.m. I am here in Troy. I am, I was trying to go to the hospital. I was at the hospital called Samaritan Hospital here in Troy. And uh, I had decided to check myself, attempt to check myself into the hospital, but it turned out to be a, wa um, a waste of time. Wait, 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 the windows. Okay. Prisoner, prisoner transport on. So, just taking note of the cars around here. Okay. Um, I'm gonna be uh, talking. I'm gonna be reaching out to these specific officers to address the issue that I have. Um. I've, I've been, uh, I've been having some issues and I think it's time I address these officers. Some of these officers need addressing. Typical cop car, typical shit in it. As far as I'm concerned, he is parked on the corner. It's gotta be a certain distance from a uh, from a crosswalk. I don't think he's allowed to be here, but I do notice. I do notice. These officer uh, patrol cars right here. I don't know if this is a police vehicle. I would imagine it is because it's got a light bar jammed in the back window. Uh, I would hope this Chevy, this Chevrolet Impala Echo Lima Yankee 6416 is a police officer because again, doesn't seem like it's a cop. It seems like a personal. Oh no, it's a cop. It's got the shit in it. Shit all up in it. And it's got a, a goofy strobe light in the back window. These vehicles, I don't know if they're even... I don't know if they learned their lesson from the last time I came here. Because I rose major hell in regards to them being parked in the Trusco Bank parking lot. After hours, now I ended up saying something to them about it. Now the only vehicle that I see in this customer service parking lot only for the bank is this red Ford pickup truck. License plate, Hotel Echo Echo 6380. Hotel Echo Echo 6380. I doubt it's a police officer. I know there's no banking at this hour. It's almost 10 o'clock at night. I highly doubt somebody's working in the bank at this hour. I think it's just some yo-yo dodo head that would have parked here as a police officer. But if you swing over here, that is private parking for police and municipal vehicles only. It says police vehicles only on the sign. There is a sign over there on the fence that says police vehicles only. Now, there's a couple personals in there. Um, that being said, I highly doubt this Kia right in front of me is a police car. I think it's a personal. I believe it to be a personal. So, I think they understood when I got upset and went to address them. 
about the parking situation. Now, I'm gonna go address these officers and have them bring me back to Samaritan Hospital and force the hospital to service me. I'm gonna have the hospital be forced to serve me in a timely fashion. So here we go. We are in, we are at Skin, uh, Troy Police Department. Oh, here we go. This is what I got to work with. Hello. Oh, you're a sergeant. What's that? You're a sergeant. Yes, sir. What is your name, sir? Sergeant Malloy. Okay. I think um, your badge number is three zero. Okay. Yes. Um, two burning issues that I need to address with you. Two burning issues? It's just hard to hear you, bud. Two issues. Okay. Issue number one. There seems to be a pickup truck. License plate hotel echo echo six three eight zero. Huh? Hold on, I'll get something to write it down. Uh-huh. I'll get something to write it down. Yep. Okay, what's the plate number? Hotel. Yep. H is in hotel. E is in echo. Yep. E is in echo. Six three eight zero. Okay. He is parked on private property. Whereabouts with private property? Trusco Bank. Okay. After hours, okay. he is backed in, okay. nose out, it is a red Ford, full four-door F-150 pickup truck okay. with tinted windows. Okay. I know for a fact nobody at the bank would be at the bank at this hour. Are you it, a bank employee? I am not, okay. but I do observe. I've been here enough. I've been observing. Okay. The area, I've been paying attention to the fact that mostly everybody clears out of that bank between 4.30 and 6 o'clock. We are now pushing almost 10 o'clock. That truck is parked in there. Okay. I put my hand on the hood. I actually put made contact with that truck. Okay. I put my hand on the hood. Yep. That hood is ice cold, indicating to me that truck has, first of all, been sitting there. For an extended period of time. Okay. That's one. Okay. That's your first issue. All right. What's your second burning issue? I live in Schenectady, city of Schenectady, New York. Yep, I know where it's at. I had Mohawk First Aid Squad take me from Schenectady. Out here to Samaritan Hospital. Okay. The hospital is denying me service. Okay. Won't tell me why. Won't explain to me. They denied me service. And they told me, if you want to come back, you better come back with a police officer. Okay. What, now, kind, of, what kind of services were you looking for? <clears throat> Psychiatric services. Okay. Because I was a, I'm a psychiatric patient. I got my own struggles that I deal with. I've got my own emotional history that yes, sir. that hospital is well aware of. Okay. But recently. Why you would come? Just out of curiosity, why you would come from Schenectady all the way over? To because the reason why is I'm not allowed at Ellis Medical Center. Somebody at Ellis Medical Center made up a lie fabricated a police report and fabricated, got a restraining order put against me, so I am not allowed to utilize uh, Ellis Medical Center. On top of that, Albany Med is on psychiatric diversion. So the only options at that point is Ellis Medical and Schenectady, which I have a restraining order, they have a restraining order against you me. Know to Albany because of diversion. And um, and they rerouted me to here, being that Samaritan this... Samaritan Hospital didn't tell you why? No. Have you had any issues with them in the past? Mm. Anything that would... No. Are you sure? <clears throat> as far as I know, I haven't. 
I've been very polite. I've been very professional. They had me sitting in the waiting room from 5.50 all the way to 9.26. I decided to ask one of the employees that had taken me in through the triage, through the waiting room, what is going on. He didn't want to, he yelled at me and slammed the door in my face. Wouldn't give me much of an answer. So I go to patient sign in, registration lady. I try to ask her. She's like, complete space case. Utter, total space case. She's like, oh, I don't know. It's this. I don't know. It may be this, maybe that. I'm not sure. I said, okay, can you, go, Carl, can you call somebody, get radio in, somebody who can tell me what it is? What, what the delay is? No, what's going on? What, what is going on? Okay. She Were gets you, angry at me. Were you in the waiting room or did you ever make it into the uh, area? No, I was still in the waiting room. Okay. I was in the waiting room. She got pissed off at me because you can't see it now, but I had a mask on my face, but it was under my nose. She got pissed off and cursed me. I said, put the fucking mask on or get the fuck out of my hospital. And at that point, my respect for her Went from up here, down to zero. I said, fuck you, and I'm out of here. She said, don't fucking come back unless you come back with a police officer. She said, now I'm not going to serve you, and you're not going to get seen unless you're here with a police officer. At no point in time did I use any, uh, did I use any threatening language. Never threatened nobody. My behavior was not threatening. I didn't curse at the lady other than that one F-bomb. I only dropped one F-bomb the entire time. Now, I take a hike. I'm on the phone with 911 dispatch. Mm -hmm. He hangs up on me. Twice. 911 our dispatch? I don't know who it is. Okay. When I called 911, I, it wasn't here. It wasn't from, I don't think it was here. You I think it was the county. Huh? You don't think it was in Rensselaer County? I don't know who it was. Okay. The person said, 911. On this side of the river when you made the call? Huh? Were you on this side of the river when you made the call? Like in Troy? No. I don't know. Okay. I don't even know. Okay. I came from the hospital. We'll work my way Let down here. Let me clear up one of the burning issues. The car that's probably parked in the bank is probably a, a police officer's car. Uh-huh. Trusco, we have an agreement with them that after hours we can park there. So that solves that. The second one is a little <coughs> more dicey. I can't make the hospital see you, but I can certainly inquire. If you want to give me your name, I will call up there and ask them uh, what the situation is and are you welcome there to be treated. And now, from there, I, I can, we can't make them treat you. You realize, have that ability. You realize now I, I, live, I live in Schenectady, but now I'm out here. I have no way to get – buses are done at this hour. There's no buses at this hour. They're done by 930. Are they? Yeah. I'm not sure. Yeah, the they're all done. They wrap up around nine o'clock. Stephen, I'll call uh, up to the hospital. Stephen, common spelling, with a V. Last name is tricky. S is in Sierra. I is in Indigo. L is in Lima. V is in Victor. E is in Echo. S is in Sierra. T is in Tango. R is in Romeo. I is in Indigo. Sylvester. And you said you were up there, you were in the waiting room, you just never made it into the actual ER department. No. Okay, all right, let me see what I can find out. All right. Thank you.